first, Rahul Gandhi and other senior Congress leaders and a group of activists including Yogendra Yadav and Medha Patkar and now Hardik Patel and Jyotiraditya Sindhya. It seems no politician or activist can actually visit Mansoor in Madhya Pradesh where five farmers were killed in firing without being arrested even before they get there. Is this an attempt to curb tragedy tourism by politicians or is this a more draconian crackdown? Senior Congress leader Jyotiraditya Sindhya stopped by police on his way to violence hit Mansoor in Madhya Pradesh. As politics takes centre stage after violent protests over the killing of six farmers in police firing last week during an agitation for loan waiver and better prices for crops. But the police went ahead and detained him, preventing him from sitting on Dharna at Dodhar, nearly 675 kilometers from Mansoor. I am ready to go where they want to go. I am ready to go to jail. Earlier in the day, Hardik Patel, who was leading the Patidar agitation in Gujarat, was arrested while leading a march to Mansoor. He was later released on bail. The political drama unfolding on a day, NDTV found that the state government's promised compensation of rupees 1 crore to the family of the farmers killed in police firing is stuck in red tape. As the collector claims, he can only clear 4 lakh rupees. No, 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 with suspicion as far as solutions to the current agrarian crisis is concerned, the Congress party wants to build a poor farmer image so that it can get political benefit. With camera person Nilesh Devadega, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Well, joining us on Left, Right and Centre tonight, Yogendra Yadav, National President of Swaraj India. We're also being joined from the RSS by Professor Rakesh Sinha. And Krishnabir Chaudhary, President of the Bharatiya Krishak Samaj, is also with us in the studio tonight. We're also going to be joined in a short while uh, by uh, Randeep Singh Surjewala. Uh, in charge of communications for the Congress and Sunil Alag, political commentator. But Yogendra Yadav, let me begin with you. Um, like Jyotiraditya Sindhya and Hardik Patel today, uh, you were part of a 30-member delegation that also tried to go to Mansoor and was stopped en route. Uh, why do you think that the government is cracking down in this fashion and not allowing anyone to reach uh, what is clearly ground zero of these protests in Madhya Pradesh? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I must have been to at least one dozen places after firing over the last two decades. Sometimes to do human rights investigation, in some cases to try and patch up, bring the tempers down and so on and so forth. I do not remember a single instance in which one week after the firing, you are prevented from going those places. I remember going to those places where firing had taken place within 24 hours. I remember going to those places during curfew, trying to bring people together, observing the norms and so on and so forth. That's exactly what we were trying to do. And uh, the you know one thing that you can say about people that were with us, uh, these are people who are whose commitment to non-violence is given. And uh, at least we were not tragic uh, tragedy tourists. Uh, over the last two years, we've been to uh, people like me have gone to every single place where farmers have had distress. 20 days ago, I was in Tamil Nadu, no TV cameras, nothing. With that intention, we go there. We said, look, there is no curfew. There is, they said it's 144. We said, fine, so we'll not be more than four people. Right. We finally offered that, all right, let just one person go. Let Medha Patkar go. Yes. She was not allowed to go. And yesterday, I was in Nimaj district, which mm -hmm. has had no law and order problem. Right. And we were firmly escorted out of the district. We were, in fact, escorted out of the state. I, the only th conclusion I can think of is mm -hmm. there must be something very big that the government wants to hide. There okay. must be something okay. which is so stark out there yes. that they don't want anyone to go there. Okay. Um, I want Rakesh Sinha to respond to that. 
so many instances, well, certainly the government can say we don't want politicians making political capital of the situation, but it's not just politicians alone, activists, people like Medha Patkar, who have had a long history of uh, committed activism in, in, in uh, the agrarian sector to their credit. They have also not been allowed. What is it that the Shivraj Singh Chauhan government seems to be so afraid that people might find out? I am not the spokesperson of the government, so it is the government to respond it. But I have three things to say. Mm -hmm. You know, when there is a law and order situation and the real issue of farmers' demand, their demands have been, f uh, uh, the government not only assured the Bharatiya Kisan Sangh, but almost accepted their demands. Uh, post acceptance, there, there, there was violence. And the region of violence, th there can be dispute the who is guilty, that, that, is, that, is a sec that is the matter to be proved. But the most important thing is that the farmers' issues have been always politicized since 1960s. Nobody is caring for the farmers. I am giving two instances. These farmer leaders, th have they any vision? There may be problem. You can accuse the state government. What, you, what is your vision? Are they coming with a charter of demand to the government that these are the things which would change the fundamentals of the farmer? I am not talking of the seasonal relief to the farmer. Just I am giving you one. You are talking about I'm the politicians. Giving, you are saying I'm, the politicians I'm, I'm who giving, are visiting the zone do not I have. I am giving one instance. Look, coconut oil is being used in South. Large number of farmers South and Western India use coconut oil. But government has to declare the edible oil. You, you are not declaring edible oil and the farmers are not getting the uh, be benefit of that. The, 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 no, even the edible oil not getting standardized. So I think the, uh, the, uh, the right only organization which is working that is Bharatiya Kisan Sangh, the only organization which has been constructively working and I don't consider Medha Patkar as a neutral activist. We know the, her connection okay, so with the multi We know her connection with the, we know her connection with the outside the world and the, the way she has, she has acted many times as a disruptionist to the development. Not only the BJP regime, previous regime also. I, she, she was the part of Aam Army Party. She has, she has been expelled. Jogendra Jadav is not a neutral activist. He is a political, political person. They, these people are searching their political ground, uh, ground, using, appropriating the violence. Okay, Yogendra Yadav obviously has a response to that before I take this to the Congress. Yogendra Yadav. I certainly do belong to a political party and not for a minute would I say I am not non-political. All I was saying was that number one, it is not for the government to decide your intentions are nice, yours are not nice, you would not be allowed, what is the reason, why do you want to go? No sir, that does not happen. In the last 20 years this country has seen many firings and it is almost a routine, a routine that BJP leaders have routinely done which is for opposition leaders to go speak to people and if you are so confident the Madhya Pradesh government has done all that was needed, well nothing would happen. Those leaders would go, people would not listen to them, they would come back. Why are you so afraid? And the important thing is that in this particular instance, why is it that even in surrounding districts, in Nimach district, I wanted to go to an ordinary village. In Nimach district, which has not seen firing, not seen any curfew, no 144. Why is it that people are not being allowed even to go there? Tomorrow, I may like Rakesh Ra Sina, I may Ra dislike Sina, Rakesh I think, I think Sina, I may think his, his ideology is, is against that the country. At least a but perception. can I decide that therefore Rakesh Sina is not entitled to free freedom? No, no. Okay, I, there not, is a perception I'm, of an undeclared emergency no, no, in, in, no, no, in a way that, I, I'm you know, why, a, why is the Madhya Pradesh government overreacting? Jogendra Yadav is forgetting on the nuclear plant issue when there, there, were, there were disturbances, the, all the political activists have been stopped. He's giving the 20 years, I'm giving you 10, 10 okay, occasions. Okay, fair enough. No, I'm, I'm just giving. Yes. Look, the first challenge before any democratic government yes. is to restore the law, uh, normalcy. If you are, you are uh, becoming the agent of disruptionist, the government will stop you. It is okay, not okay, stopping you forever. The, you let the the normal the because, because after the death of five people, yes. look, there, there is a disturbance. There no, are, but there as, as, as Mr. Yadav said, the death of five people was uh, at least a week ago. Since then, what has suggested that there is uh, still such a volatile situation on the ground no. when, when protests are clearly not continuing to no, that no, extent? Ankita, but, Ankita but, just, just a yes. The, the, look, uh, it's not that uh, uh, anyone's democratic rights should not be snatched by any government, any democratic government, but uh, what I feel that normalcy is the first challenge. 
by creating a disturbances you are not fulfilling okay, the let, let the farmers Sojewala cause or, or the, or how the is the congress cause? mr sojewala and, and and thank you for joining us on the show tonight how is the congress going to counter this charge of playing to the galleries first it was rahul gandhi and 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 other senior congress leaders including a former chief minister of the state today it was jyotiraditya sindhya all too aware that he was going to be detained which was why he clearly started holding political rallies even before he was anywhere near mansoor now he plans to hold a satyagraha in uh, bhopal as well uh you know it, it it's it's very well for uh, the government to turn around and say it, it is your people who are uh, causing a law and order situation uh, in madhya pradesh and that's why there's been a crackdown you know ankita in this whole tutu me me we are losing focus from the principal issue and the principal issue that your panelist have rightfully raised are political leaders terrorists is mr yogender yadav and mr jyotiraditya sindhya now an anti national who is going to foist uh, uh, problems of a nature that will become a matter of civil war is mr rahul gandhi a national leader of a principal opposition party trying to meet farmers committing a crime so that's one part but there is a bigger issue here and the bigger issue is why did the bjp government in madhya pradesh proceed to fire and kill six farmers in cold blood what was the reason there of the reason was rather rather simple because the bjp government both at center and state have failed to provide remunerative prices of their crops to the farmers mr modi prior to election as also bjp in the election manifesto said they will give cost plus 50% profit the Maha madhya pradesh farmer was selling their potato and tomato crop at 2 rupees a kg which is less than the cost of extraction of the crop the soya bean crop at 2000 2500 rupees a quintal compared to 5500 rupees a quintal earlier and the wheat crop which is promised at 1625 rupees as of msp was selling at 1200 rupees and the government was in cohorts with the middlemen and was fleecing and looting the farmer and the third thing was the simple indebtedness of the farmers none of them have been addressed till date all we see is drama of satyagraha by the chief minister and a sang organization the kisan sang that has been mentioned by my esteemed colleague on this panel which is only a puppet organization of the rss bjp but what about justice to farmers what about listening to their grievances what about redressing their problems what about giving them at least cost okay. of their produce okay. and that okay. is the I core think, of I the I problem that is, that and if political leaders made... want to go and meet what okay. is the crime we are committing okay uh, krishna b choudhary you know please come in on this as president of the bharatiya krishak samaj you've made this point before on this very show that uh, you know asking the politicians not to stand up in in a way for farmers issues right now and only make situations worse you obviously believe that you know politicians are making political capital over here but what about the points raised by the congress right now what about what we are seeing as a sort of essential callousness of the shivraj singh chauhan government there have been three farmer suicides now in the last 24 hours we have heard the home minister of the state say that this may not have been uh, due to farmer distress at all this may have been a marital dispute or something else when the fact that compensation the basic compensation that was promised to farmers uh, their families uh, the ones who died in firing that hasn't been cleared yet that is stuck in red tape when we hear the sort of remarks that the government is making there is going to be a reaction one thing is uh, i am very fear that when the yesterday's announcement of the madhya pradesh government that no procurement of any agriculture produce can be done below msp yes second we were asking that there should be open market for the farmers community and yeah they agreed that uh, mp government will provide the facilities in all nagar palikas nagar nigams especially for the farmers there will be open market we, third thing the complete incident start was the very peaceful from farmer side then incidents suddenly it converts in violence then politics starts and till today only politics only politics being done by all people 
They are not to, for the farmers. They are doing their politics only. They are responsible. If the farmers are committing suicide, are you saying that they are the responsible? That politicians society, are responsible for the deaths the of the farmers as system, well? The complete system is responsible Ankita, for this violence. Ankita, you should have called a, a spokesperson of the Madhya Pradesh government. We would have certainly no, 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 I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, had, had the government no, or for that I, I, matter I, I, the BJP spokespeople no, no, uh, consented no, no, to come on our channel, no, which they are no, not no, doing no, currently, they, they, and, and so, we would like so, to question so don't, that don't, as well. Don't blame one one party. Kindly be fair. We are in media, we are in democratic society. Well, you are here no, we, to defend no, them I'm, tonight, I'm, uh, I, I, Professor Sinha, so I, I, we are hoping you will do an excellent job of that. No, let me, let me. I am not a spokesperson of the government or BJP, but but to be fair, I just say two things. He called Bharatiya Kisan Sangh as a puppet organization of RSS BJP. You look, I, I will never call NSUI or any organization as a puppet organization of the Congress because these are okay. the mass organizations. Okay, fair point. No, 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 let me, let me, let me, I, I have to complete it because there are three, two panelists are on, on one, one side of the fence because uh, just see, Bharatiya Kisan Sangh the only organization which has agenda. I told you. These are the farmers' issues, not the localized issues, the entire issue. Last five decades, Congress has marginalized the farmers. Farmers' voice was strong in first five-year plan. After the first five-year plan, farmers have been on the on the I don't think any of the panelists tonight, I have two, two things Professor to say. Sinha, two things, will two deny th that the agrarian crisis is an ongoing one, and it's certainly things, not I, I'm telling one you, that's been created I'm telling in the you, last I, I'm asking, years. I'm asking, when there was a Vedanta crisis in Odisha, the delegations were stopped. Why Jogendra Jadav is saying that uh, okay, uh, okay, the but first Yadav, time BJP let him, let him, let him emergency? So during the Vedanta agitation, when tribals were doing agitation, many people were stopped not to, not to reach, the, reach that place.